Okay, we're going to start talking about gravity and weight for our second section of Newton's Laws. So gravity is the force between all objects on Earth. So gravity is a very weak force. So if you look at the two minions there, the force of gravitational attraction between the minions, it, if they're a quarter of a meter apart, is only around point zero 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 four newtons. Okay, so gravity is going to depend on the mass of the objects. The bigger they are, the bigger the force. So if you have two mice, that's going to be a smaller force than if you have two elephants. Gravity also is going to depend on the distance between the objects. So here we have four objects all the same size, but the two ob ants on the top are closer together than the two ants on the bottom. So the force between the two ants that are closer together is going to be stronger than the force on the bottom, which they're farther apart. So why don't we notice all the gravitational pull of all these objects? If there's gravitational force between all these objects, why don't we feel it, right? And that's because their mass is so darn small compared to the Earth. And we're attracted to the Earth because it is so massive and we're so close to it. We're touching it, right? So we're not attracted to stuff like our science book, which is really close to us, but it's so darn small. So then the next question is, why aren't we attracted to the moon? Because it's really massive. It is more massive than the Earth. And that's because it's too far away. So even though the Earth even though the moon is more massive than the earth, we're still going to be attracted to the earth instead because we're closer to it than the moon. So the force of gravity on something is called weight because it is a force and it's measured in newtons. So on earth, OD's weight is about 100 newtons. On the moon, Odie's weight is around 16 newtons. Can you think of why? Well, the difference is the gravitational force. So that means that the gravitational force on the moon must be less than the gravitational force on Earth. In deep space, far away from other planets and stars, Odie's weight is almost zero. He's pretty much weightless. Can you think of why? And so that would be because the gravitational force is pretty much zero. So remember, mass is measured ma mass measures the amount of material of an object. And in our equations, it's going to be measured in kilograms. So OD has a mass of about 10 kilograms. That means he's made of 10 kilograms of blood, bones, hair, and stuff. So that's his mass on Earth. So if he goes to the moon, Odie hasn't changed. He's still Odie. That means he still has a mass of 10 kilograms of blood, bone, hair, and stuff. So if Odie goes to space, he's still he still hasn't changed. He's still Odie. And that means he's still made of 10 kilograms of blood, bones, hair, hair and stuff. Okay, so mass is the measure of how much material you have. It's measured in kilograms. And weight is the force of gravity on the object. And it's going to be measured in newtons. So calculating weight. So the force of gravity is in one kilogram is called gravitational force. It's measured in newtons per kilogram. Or in other words, meters per second squared. So to calculate weight you're gonna, of an object, you're going to multiply the object's mass by gravitational force, wherever you are. So it's weight equals mass times the gravitational force, or W equals M times G. Okay, so let's do an example. 
So we're given the gravitational field strength on Earth is about 10 meters per second squared. So that's the force of gravity. What is your weight if your mass is 45 kilograms? So we're given the G. The G is about 10 meters per second squared. And we're given the mass is 45 kilograms. So what is your weight? And weight is a force, so it's going to be measured in newtons. Weight is mass times the acceleration of gravity, which is g. Okay, so let's plug in. We have 10 times 45, so that's 450 newtons. That's pretty easy, isn't it?